Are you filming? Yeah. Can I just say, we love the Community Design Collaborative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. We have gotten so much done because of the collaborative thing. So now we have the Bootsy Weiss Children's Garden, uh, which was the product of planning with the Community Design Collaborative Architects, involvement with Fleischer volunteers, students and faculty, and even creatively inspired by the work of young people who are taking classes here at Fleischer. So we actually rebuilt, tore down, and then rebuilt this entire wall, and we you know, created a transparent screen between the Children's Garden and Palumbo Park, which I think is very symbolic of how we wanted to um, improve our campus in a way that also had an impact on the way the neighborhood saw us. And it was an important first step in what we did next with the Community Design Collaborative was come up with a rejuvenation plan for the entire park. With the, with the help of the Community Design Collaborative, we worked with the neighbors to create a uh, a beautification and rejuvenation plan for Colombo Park, which um, step by step the neighbors are you know, taking little pieces of and accomplishing them from um, taking care of all of the trees in the park to making um, some structural adjustments in the seating and the lighting. If you look at the facade, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven doors, seven front doors. One of our biggest challenges is if we want to create a welcoming space that's easy to access, um, how do you get in? Where's the front door? Along with creating a much more welcoming space and entrance, um, we're very much focused on expanding the arts curriculum through adaptations to the facility. And we think the facility can really drive um, the way we will be as a community-based arts organization into the next century. Um, we're also very interested in creating a sustainable campus. So how can you take an eclectic collection of old historic buildings that are on the National Register and adapt them to meet today's environmental standards, not just from a physical point of view, but um, down to the, the way we re reuse um, materials for art making. So the Community Design Collaborative volunteers helped us actually write all of the documentation that was necessary to send out a, an RFQ or request for qualifications, followed by the RFP. So we had great response to the RFQ, we wound up choosing what we felt was the one really perfect firm to match our needs, our institutional needs for planning, uh, and that was Atkin Olson and Shade. Uh, was selected to perform Fleischer's master planning uh, work and we anticipate that they'll be working with us for about nine months uh, on a very uh, engaging process that will involve the community and our board and our staff and um, city leaders. Um, we'll bring in a lot of voices from outside to help inform our planning process.